Danger, Will Robinson, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies and gents, this is going to be really, 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 really quick, really, 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 really fast, so we're just going to get through it so that all of you will know. You're going to have to read the rules for the 1099A and 1099C. They're not that complicated. There are tons of tax preparers doing videos on the 1099A and the 1099C. Ladies and gentlemen, this right here, you cannot fill these out like this. You have to download, I mean, not download, but get the IRS to send you the official form or go down to an IRS office and get the official form. Or you can go online to 1099 online, 1099 online, and fill it out there. Let's get back to the IRS. Ladies and gentlemen, Schedule C. Not a Schedule C. It's an IRS 1099C. But we're going to schedule it right now, okay? Pay attention. You always on top. Pay attention. You always on top. This is you. You always on top. Then that's your information. Yo. EIN number. Social security number with one dash. Because you're a sole proprietor. Then there's the other party's information. Then you go in here. The other party's information. Their address. Then you can create this account number. But if you're using 1099 online, they're going to automatically create an account number for you so you ain't got to worry about that. Then you put the date that that debt, 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 debt became an issue. And then you put the amount of the debt and you leave the interest. In my opinion, I'm leaving it blank. Then I'm going here. What type of debt is it? Contractual. Okay. And then you check this box if they are responsible. Ching, ching And then the identification code. Now, you're going to have to go look for the identification code. Okay? Uh, but if you go to 1099 online, it'll give you the identification code. Let's, let's go in here and pull up a C foam in a second. Oh, this is going to take a minute because everybody's doing their taxes now for some reason. Okay. Anyway, and then you put the value of the property. That's it. You're done. That's the 1099C. That's it. You are done. You don't have to do nothing else. Just got to add the date. You ain't got to do nothing else. And the best way to fill it out is you go left side, then the next level, then the next section, then the next section. Don't go across the top. Go up top to bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom. Easiest way to do it. Get it done. Now, here's 1099A. Y'all hold. Uh-oh. I got to. What I do with it? Don't tell me I lost it. Mama, I done lost it. I don't know where it is. I swear it's here somewhere. Shown up, Claroline. Hold on, y'all. All right, this is 1099A. You got to do the same thing. Got to bring it forward because it's too far back. So y'all can see. Going to show y'all how much similar that is. 1099A, ladies and gentlemen. You always on top, okay? You always on top. And then that's you, see? Always on top. And then you take care of this character right here. That's them. Then you put their information here because that's them. And then, like I said, you can add the only account number and let them do it. But this one is different. You notice how that's all read out and this is all read out? Yeah, that because they, 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 you know, they set tripping. Now, here's the thing. You put the date. That's it. Simple, huh? Then you we still going down now. Number number five says, What is it? Are they responsibly liable? That's up to you to say they're responsible, not responsible. Description, contractual obligation, and the year. See, remember, we're going row by row all the way up and down, and then the balance, principal outstanding, the amount of the debt that is outstanding, outstanding. Okay, and then you the market value of the property. That's it. You're done. It really is that simple. It couldn't get more simple than that. And once you submit it to the IRS, and if you follow the rules, ladies and gentlemen, the credits are automatic. But the 1099A and the 1099C must go together. They accompany the other. Okay? You need to know that. All right. Here's a short tutorial on doing 1099As, 1099Cs. There you go. And when you do your taxes, it's on the Schedule C. Okay? Schedule C, when you do your basic regular taxes. We did the video earlier today giving you guys the information. 
on how to do the Schedule C. And if you go and look at the videos where we talk about the tax credit form that we created, the instructions for filling out the Schedule C is right there. I can't keep doing this for you guys, but this is what you get. And that's it. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, look at that. Less than five minutes and 15 seconds. Got to go, got to go.